Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm joined by Ireland Under-17 captain Seamus Kyo. We're here in City West Hotel at the launch of the Under-17 tournament. A um, bit of a media day. We've interviewed a couple of his teammates. Um, again, we were saying to the lads there about doing uh, player profiles and stuff yeah. like that. So just tell us a little bit about yourself. So, um, what club are you at, at the moment? Uh, Southampton. Oh, very good club. So yeah, I moved over last last July. So I'm really enjoying it and I love it. So. Um, what position are you playing? Uh, I can play at one or two, centre back or right back, I'm, or centre mid or right back. Sorry, I'm happy, happy to play either. So it's like Phil level. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it must, that must give you uh, a lot of confidence going to a club like Southampton, who are known to mm -hmm. give a lot of youngsters um, opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You can see like with the recent one, Michael Ovafemi, he's his path to the first team, so it gives gives everyone at the club great hope, really, and we all want to follow in his footsteps and get there. So. Absolutely. You, know, the, you mentioned uh, Michael and obviously Shane Long is there as yeah. well. Uh, do these lads ever come along and kind of give you advice or help you or just even just come along for a general chit chat? Yeah. So I imagine that would help you, yeah. you know, just on a day to day yeah, basis. No, two of them are both lovely lads. Like they'll always say hello to you or how are you or whatever. So it's great to have, to have people like that around the club and stuff. So yeah. we're really happy. Yeah. Yeah, and just kind of on to you know, the tournament it's, itself, uh, you guys were obviously at. Um, the, the game in Tala last night, and yeah. you seem to be a, a good buzz amongst yourselves. You seem to be a, a quite tight knit group, and yeah. there's a real buzz around the the underage setup at the moment. But how, how is, you must be feeling confident going into this tournament? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're feeling when you're playing in Irish soil. How could you not feel confident? Like so, we're feeling really confident, and we're looking forward to it. And we've got a great bunch of lads in the squad, and a really good group. So we can't wait to get forward. Now. Yeah, I was just saying to Connor there is. So First team to represent on home soil, like no matter what really happens, even if he's got to as far as the final and even lost, he's still probably go down as heroes. So that must be something he's just really looking forward. Not putting pressure on him to get to the final, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we're we're really looking forward to it. Like playing in Irish soil in itself is a great pleasure and a great honour. So we can't wait to get going on Friday and hopefully all things fall into place and go well. Yeah, well, how's the camp been itself, just in a general sense? Good, yeah, like it's great when you come in and you see all the advertising done the last few weeks and stuff like that, so everyone seems to be really looking forward to it and really happy, so. Yeah, and it seems like, obviously, as we were at the match watching the game last night, he's going to be playing on that pitch now on, on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting a big crowd to be there? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully there's a big number of, of people there, so we can really show them what... Irish football is all about. Now is your chance to send a message from to yeah, come yeah. to the game. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you come down to the game. Yeah. At a seven o'clock kickoff, isn't it? Yeah. Against Greece. Yeah. We're gonna hammer them. He didn't say yeah. that either. Yeah. But uh, no, he's, he's must be he's must be buzzing for it. I'd say this way, you just can't wait to get the first game out of the way, is it? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Just or not out of the way, but to come along and play. Yeah, it. get started and get three points on the board, hopefully. So. Yeah. Well, have you had any kind of outside influences regards any like uh, the senior team or anything like that? Just kind of leaving you messages or anything this week? Yeah, when we played um, Finland, Mick, Mick McCarthy left us a nice message, just wishing us good luck. So that was obviously that's great and it's great to see and great to hear. So. Yeah, and obviously I met you at the Viva with, with John and, and, and Colin. Yeah. Do they have anything to say, to you? Uh, John? I mean, I, I'm sure everything yeah. he says you, you take on board. If yeah. you, you take yeah, it all well, in. Main, main thing was just enjoy it really. Yeah. Enjoy playing football and embrace every moment like it's it's a life one a lifetime opportunity. So just enjoy it really. Yeah, I mean, you must take um, like a lot of satisfaction at seeing the likes you know when Brian Kerr's team went and, and, and won it previously mm -hmm. and the players that came through there. I mean, you know, household names I suppose with Robbie Keane, Richie Dunn, yeah. Andy Reid, John yeah. O'Shea, just to name a few. Like this tournament could be a case for you guys to make a claim to be to go on maybe to go on to be one of those players or. Yeah, of course. In your own yeah, right. Obviously. Yeah, obviously what, what they done was amazing and it's it's great. Like what we we certainly hope to follow in the footsteps and do do the same and hopefully there'll be some big names coming out of this group, so Yeah. I think in a general sense, like I think a lot of people are just generally excited at the you know, the rise of the, of a lot of our youth teams at the moment. Yeah. There's a real general buzz and they're yeah. all playing for good clubs as well, you yeah. know, and getting you know, I think th there was a big deal made previously where, you know, players weren't getting um you know, I'd say the, the academy coaching, so to speak. Yeah. You know, yeah. whereas they are now. Yeah. Is that is that something like do you feel like you're developing every day at, at your clubs and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Especially course, by yourself yeah. mainly because, you know, yeah. you're at Southampton. They've known to have a great academy. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they they 
they do produce good players. I mean, you look at the players that came through that academy. I'm sure, yeah, they, people would be wet their lips. The likes of you know Theo Walcott, Gareth Bale. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, the list goes on, really. I mean, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> don't really yeah. Need to list anymore. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. Um, are you excited to, to try and become uh, one of those players who, who, who graduates through the academy and then maybe go on and represent Ireland and Southampton going forward? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. That's that's everyone's here's dream, really, isn't it? To to play first team football. So, we're that's all that we're hoping for and all we're aiming for. So, hopefully, it all it can happen to a few of us in here, and hopefully, everything goes well throughout our careers. So, mm, absolutely, well, you seem to have a really good uh, head on your shoulder. So. Uh, so I say thanks very much for your time. Thank and you very much. Thank best you. Best luck for the tournament. Thank All you. right, let's bring it.